leaving. Oh, come on now. Uh-huh. She's, She's got more. doing what oh. bees do. And firefighters, they also did what they had to do, making a, wait for it, bee line. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> She's here all behave. afternoon. Make sure you tip the staff. We'll use that one already. <laughs> all right, did. one of them, <laughs> an amateur beekeeper, he made sure the bees stayed safe until a professional came to relocate the colony. But it's so important not to, like, disrupt that. Right, they bees put a little so smoke important. on them, and then they, they collect the honey out of the back seat of the car. There you go. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yummy. A uh, big change coming for a different kind of bee. This year's Scripps National Spelling Bee. It's going to eliminate the written test part. The test began back in 2017 as a way to break potential ties. Organizers now say the stress on competitors and staff just is not worth it. Forget about the folks watching it, because we always, don't you stress too? You're like, what, what did right. they even say? What's that word mean? Mm -hmm. uh, the week of Memorial Day at National Harbor is when you can look for that spelling bee. I always love it too, because you know the kids are buying time when they say, uh, origin. Uh, place what's the or of origin. Place yeah. of origin. And can you but use it in a sentence? That usually tells you yeah. everything you need <laughs> right. to know. It tells right. you nothing. Some of those words that come out, you're like, what mm. is that? <laughs> can you be leave how nice the. Oh the, my the, gosh, it goes uh, on. You, you kids <laughs> better <laughs> stop this. I will pull the car over on this. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fair enough. Hey, got some sunlight you could see behind us there on that shot. This is a live look here from. Uh, northwest looking toward Tyson's Corner. It's just kind of hazy, still pretty cloudy out there. The temperature is 69 degrees here in D.C. It is an east wind at 6 miles per hour. But we're going to bring up something here that we bring up a lot during the summer. The dew point temperature, that's a measure of the moisture in the air. Right now it's 60 degrees. The higher it is, the stickier it is outside. So when we look at that, anywhere when that dew point temperature, and it is a temperature at which dew forms, if it's 59 or less, it's comfortable, you don't worry about it. It gets 60 to 64, it starts feeling humid outside. When that number is 65 to 69, you really feel it up. Then it gets soupy when it's 70 or greater. What does it look like over the next several days for us? Well, it's going to be humid tonight. We're going to get muggy tomorrow, maybe even muggy on Friday. And then on Saturday, we're going to see the humidity levels there as well. So the next several days, when you go out and about, you're going to feel the humidity out there for sure. 69 degrees here at 6 o'clock. We have some clouds. They're going to stick around, some breaks here and there. I haven't put on the rain icon on this map. It doesn't mean that there's zero chance of showers, but it's just so spotty that the odds are against you getting one of those rain showers, just like last night. But where we see the rain, you have the possibility of having some moderate rain for a brief period of time. We'll show you that in just a second. But 69 degrees here in D.C. at 70 in Quantico. Luray, 77. That's down from 81 just the last hour. And around the region where we don't have the clouds, Temperature skyrocketed today. It's 86 in Charleston, West Virginia right now. 83 in uh, Pittsburgh. Raleigh at 82 degrees. Lynchburg at 83. This is what is heading into our area tomorrow. And the reason for that is because the clouds should be gone. They're continuing to erode right now. And there are just a few showers developing over the Panhandle region. But tomorrow, we're going to start out with the sunshine. And that will allow the temperatures to go way up there. And then also bring in the chance for some showers and storms in our region. A greater chance tomorrow than tonight. We're still in that marginal risk from the storm prediction. Center. I do think it's a little bit of an overreach, but either way, they have it out there. So if we get some any if we get showers and some of those storms, not totally out of the question to have an isolated strong storm, maybe one that is severe. If we do, it would be because of some winds that push out of that. But your day tomorrow, we're at 68 degrees at 6 o'clock. By 9, we're at 71. By noon, we're at 82 with temperatures in the mid and upper 80s tomorrow. And as you saw from that muggy meter, it's going to be humid, if not muggy, during our afternoon hours. 85 on Friday, 80 Saturday. The pattern continues with the chance for showers and storms uh, each day. And then Sunday, chance for a few showers here. 70 degrees, the expected temperature. Then, Robert, send it on over to you. All right, Bill, thanks. Well, in sports, the Nats have a nice little streak going. Not a winning streak. Well, sort of. Let's just say it's a Last good streak. Up. Okay, that's coming up next in sports. This time nasty nasty. Nasty. My dental problem started as a child. I had a lot of cavities, root canals. Eating anything cold, it would hurt so bad. With dentures, they never fit properly. My confidence was really down. Always covering my face when I laughed. So I went in for a free consultation with Clear Choice. People come in with bad teeth or no teeth, and in one day, leave with the smile that they are looking for. The Clear Choice One Day Approach is making dental implants a reality for people all over the country who suffer from missing or failing teeth. They put these beautiful teeth in my mouth and I can eat ice cream, I can eat corn on the cob now. With over 30,000 new smiles across our network, we're lifting spirits and confidence all over America. Schedule your free consultation today. We'll even talk about financing options. I've never felt better than I do right now. It's the best thing I've ever done in my life for myself. Everybody tells me you...